Well, you would normally have a pre-stripe black and burst tape in your recorder, starting at whatever time code you wanted. I mean, if it was just a gas tape, it would start at zero time code. If it was a to program you were making, normally our programs would start at 10 hours. So you go 9.50, 9.59 would be one second before the program started. Program started at 10, and you would start, put your first entry at um, 9.50, 9.58, which was two seconds before the start of the program, which gave the uh, network a couple of seconds to get into the show. Put, put down your first shot, mark an in, mark an out. If you had an out, perhaps you didn't have an out. You had a long sequence that you just marked an in on both machines, hit the red button or the preview if you wanted to rehearse it first. And then you would copy from the player to the recorder, whether it be sound, vision, both, whatever, until you'd had enough and you wanted to stop. Then you'd stop and that edit would then be stored. Um, and you would then start find the next sequence that you wanted in your show and on a machine like this it was cut edit only you couldn't do dissolves because uh, there was to my knowledge no method of driving a mixer off these although you could do it by some sort of bodging and frigging which is what I used to do with a, a similar machine I think they had a GPI if you wanted to I think to. correct yeah. you're right there Phil yes they used to be which is what I used to do it could generate a GPI which could trigger a vision mixer to to do a mix or a wipe I um, mean, it was a bit Heath Robinson, but yeah. it, it did used to work. And so for the uninitiated, all of these bits of equipment having were Sony, and Sony had a language and an alphabet. So this is called a BVE... 800. 800. So that's Broadcast okay. Video yeah, Editor. So B was Broadcast, V was Video, E was Editor, and then U was Umatic. And, and it became the industry standard. So... Blacking a tape, we keep mentioning it, but no one would know what that meant unless you'd done it. A tape won't record unless in an edit system, unless it's already been what we would call striped with a black video and a time code. And time code gives every single frame an exact reference to edit to. And one frame is 25th, 25th of a second. Of a second and a and Half 30 of a, of a second in America, just to make it easy to understand. Um, but we're not quite sure why. There's definitely blacked because it's got time codes. Yes. I mean, the only, the only time you didn't actually need to have a, a blacked tape or a striped tape, whatever you want to call it, was if you were assemble editing. Now, assemble editing was exactly what it says. You were making an assembly, so that would then record its own control track and time code and vision without having to have a track, a black and burst track underneath it. But you would very seldom use that for making programs because it was very difficult to continue because of the difference of the machines and trying to get a particular tape to edit in another machine was very difficult. So you would always for a program put down a control track which was black level, time code, and burst, so full colour signal, but just black, silence because you didn't want any spurious sounds cropping up during your edit. So the first part of your session before in during lineup would well could well be making this control track tape for the duration of the show that you were making. And then when the producer came in, you could then start and do his side of it, which was the edit. Your side was the technical bit to get the tape into a situation where you could use it.